Ancient human civilization is far older and was far more advanced than we were ever taught in school. And the evidence is overwhelmingly conclusive that civilization was essentially reset following a massive global cataclysm, likely a comet or an asteroid impact to the North American ice shelf nearly 13,000 years ago. Not only does the evidence conclude this, which I'll include later in this presentation, but recent analysis taken at Gobekli Tepe in Turkey shows that they carved in stone depictions of a comet impact to planet Earth that essentially was a reset for human civilization, which validates the works from people such as Graham Hancock, Randall Carlson, and others. Now, if you're not familiar with Gobekli Tepe, it's located in Turkey, and it is the world's oldest and largest megalithic structure. In fact, it's more than 6,000 years older than Stonehenge, and more than 50 times bigger, as verified by ground-penetrating radar. It has more than 220 to 50 ton pillars that have a cosmic orientation. And in fact, it is the world's first perfectly aligned north-south facing structure. But what makes it even more incredible is that it's facing perfectly north and south, even taking into consideration magnetic declination, which makes it more accurate than a compass. This site has been dated to be 11,600 years old. So the question becomes, how on earth were humans, based on what we were taught in the textbooks, able to have this type of astronomical knowledge? Now, besides the fact that somehow, unexplainably, ancient humans were able to cut and carve these stone pillars, lift them, as well as carve out three-dimensional animals with incredible precision. And keep in mind, this site had been buried up until the mid-90s when it was discovered. It had been buried for more than 11,600 years. But it was just recently announced by researchers from the University of Edinburgh that these depictions, these animals located throughout these stone pillars have a cosmic and constellation orientation and symbolism to them. And when they've combined computer software that takes into account where the star constellations were 12,900 years ago, which is the same period of time where evidence shows that there was massive changes or a cataclysm here on Earth, which I'll get to in just one more second, they were trying to depict a comet or fragments of a comet impact here on Earth. Now, I've discussed the topic of the global cataclysm in other videos, such as the network of 200 underground cities also located in Turkey, some of which are 11 stories deep, more than 200 feet underground, had advanced air shafts, as well as a network of tunnels, some of which were three stories underground and spanned five miles through volcanic rock to other nearby underground cities. And these cities were capable of holding tens of thousands of people and livestock individually. These underground cities are absolutely massive and they're a total mystery as nobody knows who built them. Now keep that in mind as I share with you information from another video I made that discussed in detail the overwhelming evidence of a cosmic collision to the North American ice shelf that happened approximately 12,900 years ago, which would justify the depictions taken at Gobekli Tepe, which essentially ancient humans were trying to show and share a story or perhaps warn others of what had happened before. And as we know, everything in this universe appears to be cyclic. And if you take into the works of Randall Carlson, he outlines in detail the overwhelming evidence that shows that throughout time, over the last 150 to 160,000 years since modern humans have been, existed on planet Earth, there have been anywhere between nine, possibly a dozen global cataclysms that would have completely decimated a human civilization at that time which would explain the fact on how modern humans only date back roughly 5,000 years to ancient uh, Sumerians in Mesopotamia, which would explain the incredible gap between then and now, and how essentially there are cycles of catastrophe here on Earth. So what's this evidence of the cosmic collision? Well, there's a few things that happened all at the same period of time 12,900 years ago. The rapid and unexplainable end to the last ice age that caused a more than 400-foot rise in global sea levels in a matter of years, and possibly as much as 30 feet overnight. And this has been confirmed from recent core ice sample data taken from Greenland and Antarctica. There's also a black mat layer called the Younger Dryas Boundary that covers more than 50 million square kilometers of the Earth's surface, at least three continents, and contains elements such as melt glass, nanodiamonds, iridium, and extraterrestrial helium, all evidence of a cosmic collision. The same elements found in the KT boundary, which is agreed upon in science to have been evidence of the asteroid or comet impact that wiped out the dinosaurs. And there was also a massive extinction level event of more than 75% of all mammals in North America. 
including 120 species of megafauna, mammals larger than 100 pounds, which by the way is about approximately as many mammals of that size that exist throughout the entire planet Earth today. And they all went extinct at the same time. And they're finding evidence such as in willy mammoths, mass mortality sites of more than a thousand willy mammoths. Ma many of them still had food in their mouths and broken legs as, as if they had been blasted over, which completely contradicts and debunks the mainstream narrative of, okay, well, hunters and gatherers had made the willy mammoths go extinct. Now, you might be wondering, why is this important? Keep in mind that everything in the universe that we're aware of happens in cycles. So whatever happened before will absolutely happen again. And there's a lot of evidence out there that suggests that we're long overdue for a magnetic pole shift, for maybe a rock from outer space hitting us. There could be all kinds of number of different things that could happen here on planet Earth. And it's important to set humanity up for success so if there is another cataclysm, we're not starting back over from the Stone Age. Anyways, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm Jimmy. This is Bright Insight. Like and subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are. And I have many other videos to come on a whole wide variety of topics. Take care, everybody.